What's going on, kids? Zoe Nick. Alabama Barber. Guy's got some cool bikes. Little 65 Ducati 250 Scrambler. Nice dates, too. Very clean. What's he want for it? 22 grand. All the money. But it's nice. But I don't know about 22 grand nice. Actually, I'd rather have this Ducati for 10. 06 1000S Sport. Classic. You don't see too many of them. R1000GS, the big old tank. That's a cool bike too. 9,500 bucks. This would be good for Argentina. It's a nice bike right here. Thing that runs forever. It's got nice stuff, but you really want, must not want to sell it too much because prices are kind of high. But each his own. You can ask whatever you want. Oh, what do we got here? Dalesman. I don't think I've ever heard of Dalesman. Sax bike, but I don't know if I heard the name Dalesman before. Mako. Pretty sweet. What we got over here the Norton 850 Commando electric start. I put one of those in the canal in South Florida. It's probably still sitting at the bottom of the river. Alright, I will videotape anything cool I see, guys, just so you can see it too. Another sax. All right, see you soon. Thanks for watching. What's going on, kids? Though, in it, here's my old Suzuki, and that I bought from Philip. <laughs> and then I got it, got it running, and then Bob bought it. But he bought it from you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he bought it from me. I bought it from him in Miami. Uh -huh. Bought it to Lauderdale. I mean, to Minnesota. Now it's in. So you live in Minnesota. I live in Minnesota. Now it's in Kansas City. And I'll tell you this story. I bought this bike from him. I was in a rental car driving to Daytona. I get to Daytona. I show some people the pictures. They said, where's that bike? I said, it's in Miami. They said, you need to go buy that bike. So I call him back and I offer him money for it. And he said, yeah, I'll sell for that. So I drive back down there. I, I, I'm in a rental car. And I'm like, well, how am I going to go get this bike? Some guy I don't even know said, here, take my van. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how that's how I met this Dave, who I'm good friends with now. Yeah. And then I Don, Don, Don bullpen. Yeah, David bullpen. So then I I said I'm not going to be back tonight. It's it was I got to his place at like five o'clock. It was getting dark. Yeah, was and getting I have dark. friends in West Palm, so I stayed in West Palm for the night, and then drove back to Daytona the next day, and met like ten people through the whole deal. Yeah. This bike is so. But you else. went initially for the for the uh, gesture parts. parts. Yeah. <laughs> You know, what, what a yeah, story. he got it, got yeah, it up and going. Owned it before, uh, for me, for the estate. Uh, oh, Dick Nas. Yeah, yeah. All right, see it, you guys. He was in, oh, uh, here's his Canada, water buffalo. And I found it on on the internet. He bought it in Daytona. Hey, will will it start easy? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, can you? Right yep. You better move, and you're gonna gas Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I'll get her straightened up here. It's like uh, yeah. got any mosquitoes? We All right, we're gonna start her up. You think I'm kidding? Watch the Wait, let me get out from behind it. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll. We we should take those uh, caps off there, Bob. Watch out, you get yet? your bike. Oh, hit your bike. Oh. I want to hear it without those. Uh, oh, that's that's why he's running rich. They ain't supposed to be on yeah. it. Yeah, who put those on? He did. He did. You did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, take them off. Yeah. See, take them off. We're all yeah, sitting taking it, it off. Yeah. I'm sounds. not going to yeah. choke it because I've had it run. No, just start it up. We all want yeah, you to I take those off. This is what off. I love about it was when it, the, tools. the first time I started it, it, this is exactly how it started. I already ran it, so, it, so I know. <laughs> Guys, 
What's going on, kids? Oh, and Nick got Barbara. And of course, I'm going to show you the Benelli 906 down here. Because you know me and Benelli's. It's a nice one. It looks brand new, actually. Probably is brand new. Ah, some scratches on the windscreen. Uh, it's got 77 miles on it. That's pretty close to brand new. Sandcast Honda 750. And there's a nice, there's a money bike right there. These bikes are just stupid money right now. 70 grand in Australia. I think the last one went to Australia was like 70 grand. Crazy money. All right, let's see what else we got over here. These MV Augustas were cool with the four, four pipes out the back. Pretty neat. Well, there's a Moto Guzzi, 850 Le Mans. It's a nice bike. I have a replica. Mine's a 1000 with all the Le Mans bodywork on it. I'm happy with it. I'm not going to do anything else to it. BSA Rocket 3, we saw one of those yesterday. Triumph, Triumph, Triumph. I think we've been here already, haven't we? Well, there's a Triumph. Tried it. Triple. With the three pipes. The X75. Probably the best looking Triumph they ever made. But big money. Kawasaki 5H500. H one of the early ones, too. I think the, that was the first year. That says 850, but they didn't. Oh yeah, this is that. This is that uh, five-cylinder Mallards. I think this is. Yep, Alan Mallard. Pretty crazy. And there's the V1600. Crazy metal work they did on that frame. KZ 1600. It's cool, but I, I don't love. I mean, I, I it's not a bike for me. It's too heavy for me, but I don't love the exhaust. The exhaust could have been more creative, my opinion, but I couldn't build it. But I think they could have done a cooler job with the exhaust. But it's cool. A lot of work into it. More work than I'd want to put in it. I always liked that AMF Harley. They're cool bikes. I'm not a Harley guy, but that's one Harley I don't mind. Oh, here's another one of those big money Ducatis. Oh, look at this. Perilla with a dustbin. That's sweet. That's my kind of bike right there, man. My kind of bike. I'd put that on the street. I'd put a headlight on it and put it on the street. I like race bikes on the street. There's a 900 Super Sport. Crazy money right now. Big, big money for these bikes right now, man. You could buy a house for what this bike sells for. Very expensive bike. Especially in Australia. <laughs> In Australia, they're pulling crazy money, man. They're pulling crazy money everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but in Australia, it's double here. Is it really? Oh, cool? yeah. God bless the Australians, man. All right, guys, I'll shoot some more. Thanks for watching. <laughs> LA Nick, out of Sport Wheels. Digging through piles. And I mean piles. A lot of piles here, man. <laughs> you, you can walk right by something that's really nice. Yep, just look. I don't know what that was. Ducati, maybe? It looks Ducati ish. That tank and that front wheel. What is that? I don't think it's a Riverside. No, it ain't a Riverside. It's a Ducati. Yeah, I think that's a Ducati. There's just so much stuff here, you, you can't focus on what's there because there's so much here. It's just overwhelming. They got st stuff packed in buildings. 
the good stuff's all in buildings. This is just parts. I'm looking for Kawasaki GTO wheels because everyone wants them. But hard to go through this stuff because there's so much here. Like I'll show you an example. There's like a mountain of wheels. Like all those wheels back there you can see easily. So you can rule out. There's no but then you got that pile there. I don't know what's in that pile. I'm not gonna dig through that. So that's a pretty big pile of wheels. These I can see on the racks. Can wait till you see this pile over here. They CT70 bodies. A whole bunch of them. I think there's a whole bunch of Hadaka. Looks like complete except for the motor. Even got a seat pan on it. See all these wheels, you can see them. Yeah, there's that wheel, there's that wheel. And then you get over here. Wow, look at that wheel. I've never seen anything like that. That's a pretty funky wheel. I don't know what that was. Had to be a scooter. Get over here. Look at all those wheels. I ain't digging through that. It would take you forever to get to the bottom. That's taller than me. That's 10 feet tall. So, it's like some Jixer wheels right there. Yeah. And then you got the weeds to deal with. You gotta come in the winter. Good stuff's in the buildings, but it's, you know, they charge more premium for that because it's easy to find. Get all those gas tanks. A lot of gas tanks all the way down. This is under lean, lean tube carburetors. Seats. A lot of seats. We got so many seats. Someone the other day was asking, looking for king and queen seats. There must be a hundred king and queen seats here. There's one trailer full of chopper seats. Where is it? Not here. Here it is, right here. Look, <laughs> this whole trailer is full of king and queen seats. That's all that's in here is king and queen seats. Not all of them are junk either. Some of them are pretty nice. Like, they're dirty, but they're not ripped like this one. That's per perfect. Soft. Very soft. Yeah, this whole trailer is king and queen seats, man. So, a lot of king and queen seats. We're building a chopper. They got them. All right. I'll let you guys go. Have a good day. I'm going to just keep on the hunt. Go through some of these trailers and see what's in them. So, I'll see you later. The Benelli 250 V8. That never happened. It came close, but they never got it done. But here's some Benelli motors no one's ever seen. Ever, ever, ever. A double overhead cam Quattro. 500. Single overhead cam 500, double overhead cam 500. You've never seen one. No 500? Yeah, 500. But you can't publish it. No, but you can, you can video it. Yeah, that motor that you'll never see anywhere else. Yeah, very, very cool. And he was, a, he was making some cool stuff. He was gonna make uh, one of these V8s, but a V12. Very, very cool stuff. Very neat. I think this is like a, a twin 125, and this is a four cylinder 125. Very cool. What's up guys, Zoe Nick? We are in Luciana Battisti's private collection museum that is not open to the public yet. And it's very, very spectacular. Got stuff here that no one has. Alpinos, Alpino, Alpino. He had a massive collection. This is just open to right now to family and friends of Battisti and Moto Club Benelli. So I won't be posting this video until the museum opens, which will be like two months, so 
This video will be two months old when you see it. But this is just one floor. There's two floors. So a very large collection. Look at that. Pretty cool. Upstairs all GP bikes. So look at that triumph. Speed triple. I think that's what they call this, the speed triple with that exhaust. Look at that. Well, there's a bike. The motor Perilla. Love that tank. The tank is just awesome. It goes all the way across. Race model. Very nice. Another one. Restored. Pretty sweet. Sweet Aramachi race bike CM Pretty nice All these are CM is it CM Yes yeah, CM I don't know what that is so. All right I'm going to shut this video and I'll start a new one Okay, oh, we'll end with the roomy ant because I really liked roomy ants. Roomy ant. So, all right, see you guys. Okay, there's serious stuff in this building, man. Ducati, all Ducati race bikes, Honda, Norton, Benelli's, and you get into the real race stuff. Yamaha. He had a lot of uh, Eddie Lawson stuff. Eddie, uh, this is an Eddie Lawson bike. This is an Eddie Lawson bike. Eddie. Four cylinder, two strokes. Sweet man. And then you got this Kawasaki triple. Very sweet. Very sweet. Look at that, look at that size of that drum. Thing's massive. Just a massive drum. The other side of it. Big old drum. All right, guys. It's hot up here, so I'm getting out of here. See you soon. What's going on, kids? Today we're looking at the Benelli 250 Quattro. This bike was made in the late 70s and early 80s. It likes to be revved at high RPM. It's already warmed up, so don't worry that I'm revving it. But it likes to be up in the high RPM. It doesn't red line till 10. Or no, till 11. Or 12. 12 is the red line. And it likes to be ridden like a two stroke. You know, there's a lot of history in the Benelli 250. Benelli first made a 254 cylinder in 1939, and that bike was water cooled and supercharged. It's, it's called the compressor bike, and very special bike. But yeah, they in the late 70s they decided to remake the 254, and this was it. One of the first bikes that I know of they used plastic, all plastic, plastic tank, plastic side covers, except for the front fender. I don't know why the front fender is metal. Plastic tank. No master cylinder or reservoir. The reservoir is under here, and the master is under the tank for the front brakes, which is unusual. This particular bike is very unmolested. It's only got four miles on it, so kind of a museum piece. Um, yeah, neat bike. Like to be ridden like a two-stroke, high RPMs, 
top speed I think was 92 or 94 somewhere in there 90 so weighs not much I think 270 so pretty light neat little bike and there she is Benelli 250 four cylinder thanks for watching guys I appreciate it and really appreciate it if you shared my videos thanks man have a great day What's up kids, Zoe Nick in Hungary. I have a great treat for you today. Private collection, the Valetti collection. All Hungarian motorcycles. Matra, which is their favorite. And they have a very beautiful bike. This is stuff you'll never see anywhere, ever. I'll just give you a quick rundown of just a quick showing because she explained every bike to me but i'll never remember of it this is papa cz they used i mean i'm sorry papa sax they use sax all sax engines pretty cool uh shbs i mean this is stuff that you'll never see in the world ever Pretty cool stuff. Hungarian. Everything in here is Hungarian. I mean, I don't even think we have Hungar anything Hungarian in America. Look at these cutouts. Pretty cool cutouts. I don't know how to pronounce these names, so there you go. That's the name. Hungarian language is very difficult. Check this sidecar out. These were made in Hungary for it, all over the world, not just for this brand. Once again, I don't know how to pronounce most of them, so that's the name of it. And they're all two strokes. Two, two stroke, two stroke world here, man. Everything here is two stroke. Two stroke, two stroke, two stroke. They, they only made two strokes. Another cutout. Pretty cool. Yeah, they only they only made two strokes in Hungary, which is pretty crazy. No four strokes. This one here looks just like an MZ, uh, MZ or CZ of the day. I mean, that looks just like a CZ. Even has the shifter in the thing there like, like the old oh look, look at this beauty beautiful this was called the people's bike we got a really nice collection here and then I'll go down there to show you that one Let's see if I can squeeze over there this is the most beautiful Right? I think so. Look at that thing. It's beautiful. Beautiful design engine. Okay, we're going to go on a... She's going to give us a treat to some special room. This is almost looks like a Zundap style. And then you have that up there. It's just really spectacular. All right, we're gonna go check out a special room and I'll show it to you guys, see ya. What's going on kids, Zoe Nick? A CR Rickman 900, 1974. The original gel coat, no paint. That is the gel coat. It's pretty damn good shape for 74. Got a couple little spots, but nothing bad. So you a couple spider webs on the Yeah, table. not bad, not bad though. But for gel coat, not yeah, it's paint. gel coat. The original gel coat. That drilled out. That's original that's drilled out like that. Berani rims. Ten years I've looked and I haven't seen on that. Yeah, it's a pretty rare bike. I love it. Is it a runner? It runs perfect. I had it 110 down to Beeline Highway last week running with Johnny Bomber. Any way we can hear it? Because people on my page would love to hear it. It's a nice 
nice bike, man. You're not selling it, are you? I got 22,000 on it. I, I wouldn't sell it, man. <laughs> I got a 69 Shelby convertible that needs paint interior. Yeah, but you'll never find this again. I'll never find it again. If it's gone, it's gone. I know. It's one of those bikes that you won't ever find again. And like I say, it sat like this in a guy's house since 1975. 3,000 miles ago to one summer, boom. I don't know, man. I don't know if I could sell it. <laughs> Ten years of sitting in my living room, you know. I'm just going to change it up. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, that's a tough one. It's a tough one to let go of there. That's a cool little toy too. Really neat on the sidecar. I think it was a carnival ride. Alright guys, I'll show you stuff more cool stuff. See it.